Hi, today I want to show you my new program. It's called Music Boss. This is the version 1.0. I'm going to put the download link in the description. I already downloaded here and extracted with 7-zip. Here is the directory. The first thing before you start the program, you have to set for your environment. Go to settings and open the file with a text editor and you will see there is a GIF directory and mp3 directory by default it's defined to the root my GIFs and my mp3 and here you have to put your device name your Twingly device and you can see I put my GIFs on my C drive and there are some GIFs here and some MP3 here. Now let's go back to the program. Before you start the program, make sure you have already turned on your light and your light is already mapped. Just double click on run.bat to start the program. If you are running it for the first time, it will ask you to allow the private networks. Just allow the access here. Uh, in my case, my string 400 has been detected. Then I have to close this window. After that, you will see a pop-up here. These are my MP3 files. So you can see my lights is, are there. So I can just double-click to start the music. Then it will start load the music and load the two GIF files. One is, will be running on the light and the other one will be showing on this preview panel. So you will see they are basically different, the light and th this one is showing the preview. I can apply this effect by pressing spacebar. So then you will see the next one is coming here. If I don't want to show this one, I can press the tab to skip this one. So then you will see next one, I can skip this one as well. Then I let's say I apply this one, press spacebar, then it will go through the light and press spacebar. I can pause the music by pressing P. Now the music is no longer playing. Press P again, then continue playing. I can press home, then it will start from the beginning. And I can stop it totally by pressing the end button. Now I can click on a different song. So at the moment, I just noticed there is a problem with the Unicode. As you can see, there are some question marks here. It was fine on my development machine. Somehow this is not working here. Uh, I think I will fix this in the next version. Just leave it for the moment. So let's say I click on another file. Every time we start, it will pick a random GIF file and then it just continue the same sequence. As you can see, now it's playing. Play the next one. Okay, I have to stop it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you find the video useful, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye!